Hello everyone and welcome to my Hot Toys Spider-Man from Spider-Man Homecoming review. And this is the 1-6 scale collectible figure MMS 426 and this is the deluxe version. Now this just came out in Hong Kong about a few days ago and I was able to get it very quickly. So just looking at the box very cool image of Spider-Man on the front with bits of the box that are glossy rather than just typical flat and a cool image of the logo of the movie deluxe Hot Toys movie masterpiece down there turning it around to the side just got Spider-Man deluxe version MMS426 I'm sorry for the kind of tight uh, viewing area but I can't zoom out anymore without showing um, my own personal effects so anyway the back another image of Spider-Man the warnings etc and contact details for Hot Toys there and the same thing that was on the other side. Now opening the box, this is kind of on a magnet here, so that just opens out, and there's this clear window where the figure would be. I've taken the figure and all the accessories out to get them displayed properly, but here you got the cast and crew that made the figure, so I'm just zoom in on that. And two spider signal stickers. So anyways, I've taken the figure out of the box, so I'll just get that put right here and yeah. Just hold on a minute. Now everything is out of the box. Here. And this is a lot of accessories. Took me about five minutes to get it all set up in my reviewing area here, so. I think we'll start with the hands. So you have a left and right kind of web shooting hand here. and left and right kind of grabbing hand which holds the cobweb pieces a left and right kind of um, hand that sticks to that is used for him sticking on the wall like that there and one last one. Oh no, the second last one. Kind of open palm grabbing hand. And the last one would be closed fist that come with him out of the box. Next, you get two of these web wings, which are plastic, and there's three magnets there, there, and there, and there's three other corresponding magnets under his arm and two on his side. So I'll just quickly show you how to get these on him. So all I have to do is lift the arm about 90 degrees and no, wait, this is probably the wrong one. Yep. Then there's a magnet there, or like around there and there and just take some time to fiddle about but that is the effect. 
egg is. You might need some more time to fiddle about with getting it close to the body and arm, but that is kind of how it will look like. And there's a second one which goes there. Anyways, just get this back here. Comes with uh, four extra eyepieces, along with the two. I mean, this pair that's already standard on the figure. It does come with these four pairs of extra ones. This one is kind of more open than the standard one. Then you have more serious expression and this one now an extra one that it comes with that wasn't on the pre-order information was these the instant kill mode eyepieces and these are very simple to put on they are magnetized so all you have to do if you have a magnet it might be easier to just magnet it out but I don't so I'm just gonna use my nail to to take it out and you can see there's a magnet there and all I'm gonna do is just put it on there and that's how you change the eye pieces just put the instant kill eye back and put my standard eye back on there and he does come with um one yeah five extra cobweb pieces comes with this short one this will focus properly this kind of shorter one and this long piece and it does come with two of each so two short ones and two longer ones and this one that he comes with the one that's kind of bent there is designed so that you could use this hand here with the hole in there and all I have to do is kind of slot it through like that so you can have him kind of swinging around on it holding onto the cobweb piece I'm just gonna put those away oh and this kind of um, large cobweb all I have to do is this. Yeah, it only works with the longer piece. There's the short piece has one peg there for into the web shooter and this kind of if this will focus shooting effect. So that won't work with this piece. You have to use the long one and sorry I'm doing this off camera. So you kinda get this effect with the cowboy like that and that also works with this piece the one that he's supposed to hold you can you can peg it in there so you're just getting those out of the way he does come with headphones and just show you quickly how to put them on. Mm. Just slot them over roughly above his ears and yeah. Anyways. Comes with two extra wrist pegs in case you break them. And I forgot to mention that the web pieces come with this foam 
holder which keeps them safe and prevents them from snapping so yeah. deluxe version comes with this vulture helmet which is very well detailed and sculpted I really like that those green eyes there alright it is empty inside and there is no light up or anything so I think that that was one of some of the many questions that I got asked okay. and some of the other deluxe accessories that it comes with are is this um, blazer Midtown School of Science and Technology and uh, this blue hoodie now I'm gonna quickly show you how to put these on so first thing you have to take out the hand and the web shooter now that those are taken out on both sides um, you need to bring the arms all the way back like that and simply slot that in and if that will go in there sorry if that was a bit off camera you just have to fiddle about with it and bringing it even more yes Now that's probably not the best fit, but you get the idea. And if you bring it forward even more, then yeah. So, and the hoodie is put on the same way. All you have to do is bring the arms back and just slide it, slide it through these. And it also comes with this Peter Parker head sculpt. Again, as with all other Hot Toys head sculpts, it's very detailed. And really closely resembles uh, Tom Holland. The eyes seem to be looking to the left a bit, so... Um, anyways, I'll show you how to put it on the figure. I'm just getting this other stuff out of the way. Pull off the head and just simply put that the unmasked head sculpt on. Now, my one problem with this is um. In the movie there was a bit of shown neck here and without it it doesn't look that great. But I do understand why they couldn't adapt that feature into it. Yeah, you also have this unmasked head sculpt, I mean just mask that you can use when you have this head sculpt on him. You can have him holding it but uh, with one of the grabbing hands. Uh, you can't put this on this head sculpt or the vulture helmet. And it comes with two open web shooters. And by open I mean that there's a hole where you can put the cobwebs. The one that it comes as standard with. Just let me put these two down. Bring them in. The ones that it comes with stand with, there is no hole, so you can't put the cobwebs in. So, 
on these, all you have to do is just let me get a cobweb focus. And I might have to do this off camera because it's a bit difficult. All you do is slot it in and that's how it will look like. And the web shooters are easy to interchange. So all you do is take off take off the hand and it just comes out like that. And you can put this on here, but it's recommended that you put the cobweb piece after you put the hand back on because you could risk breakage. So just gonna put the normal one back on. And he also comes with his science textbook. with writing in it, even though it's the same thing on each page. And his backpack. Now, um, for the backpack, I, I think it's just fairly standard how you put it on. Um, arms, back, hands through there, and this one through there, and simply just bring the arms forward, like so, and there you have it. And the last accessory is his display stand. It comes with a dynamic pole and waist clamp and standard Hot Toys base. So you got the spider signal, there is Spider-Man Homecoming, and on the plaque, Spider-Man Peter Parker. So that's it for the accessories, now let's move on to his articulation. And now for the articulation, the head can rotate about that way. So you can have him looking all the way to about his shoulders. It goes up that much and down that much and it also has neck articulation as well but it's just a little bit forwards and back even though it's not that much and can make a difference when posing the spider logo is non it's non detachable so you can't take it out arms go up about that much and it, the arms are on ratchets forward about 90 degrees backward also about ooh, more than 90 elbows um, more than 90 as well. Chest, I mean torso, can crunch about that much and lean back that much. Side to side that much and there. Now for the legs, forward less than 90 by 80 degrees and knees more than 90 it 
can go out like that. And for the feet, I'm doing this one. That much down, that much, and the toes can come up as well. So all in all, that's some pretty good articulation. Now I do have some problems with this. After some posing, especially with the knees, once you bend it to the maximum, which is right there, and you bring it back, the material is stretched. So you get this kind of creasing there. But other than that, I think that's pretty good. Now for my final thoughts on this figure. Um, it is my first Spider-Man figure. So I can't really compare it to the older ones. But I only have two issues with this figure that I stated before. The stretch in the material. If you bend the knee f for too long. And when you put the normal head sculpt on. Uh, you can... We, there's no visible neck so other than that uh, this figure does come with a lot of great accessories that you can use to replicate very uh, interesting moments from the movie and um, yeah that's about it and it looks very great next to Mark 47 and this is the die cast one with the repulsor deployer there so yeah if you're looking for something to from spider-man homecoming then i would recommend this now i didn't get the homemade suit because um of budget constraints so i can only really afford one spider-man and this is the one that i want so anyways thanks for watching and i'll see you in my next Take a review.